Now, I've talked about right-sided abdominal pain, but I really haven't talked too much about pain on the left side, other than maybe one video, and it's really hard to find. So this video is on what happens if you have pain underneath the rib cage on the left side. What could that be? You have the liver here, you have the pancreas here. So your liver is right here, and your pancreas is on the left side. You have the gallbladder on the right side. And then you have all these little tubes that help drain bile. Bile is made in your liver. It drains through these little tubes. They're called ducts. And most of it gets stored in the gallbladder and it's concentrated by five to seven times. So then when you eat, it gets contracted and it squeezes out through here into your small intestine. Well, you also have a pancreas that makes enzymes. So the enzymes, especially like when you were dealing with fats, um, the pancreas releases the enzyme called lipase, which helps break down the fats. But there's other enzymes as well that are created by the pancreas and secreted. If you look at this area right here, which is kind of right in your, below your stomach area right here in the mid part, you have a joining of these bile ducts with the pancreatic ducts. So if by chance there's some type of gallstone or obstruction in, the, in these pipes right through in here or down here, there's going to be back pressure that goes into the pancreas because these enzymes are now dissolving and irritating itself. So typically, pancreatitis comes from either way too much alcohol or gallstones. But up to 40% of the time, there's an idiopathic cause. And that means unknown cause. But if you look up more data on this, there's an indication that you have something called biliary sludge. It's kind of a pre-state or a pre-gallstone where you're getting this thickened bile sludge that is very hard to detect on either a CAT scan, MRI, or even ultrasound because the crystals are very, very small. And I'm going to put a link down below if you want more information about this. But what happens, if you have sludge that's kind of clogging up these little pipes right here, and you have these little valves that might not close properly, we're not getting the drainage, it can back up and create this right here. So this sludge is concentrated cholesterol crystals. This does not come from having high cholesterol or consuming too much dietary cholesterol. It comes from having a lack of bile because it is the bile that is a key thing in your body to help regulate this amount of concentrated cholesterol. It's the bile that helps keep the cholesterol thinned. And when you're lacking bile, your risk for gallstones increase, you get more biliary sludge, and you start getting these crystals. The solution is not necessarily to go on a low cholesterol diet, it's to add more purified bile salts, because when you do that, that will help to thin this cholesterol bile material and allow the drainage to occur. But if we go deeper and talk about what you need to do to make sure that your body produces more bile, there's several things that you can do. Cut your carbs down. That's called healthy keto. Do intermittent fasting. Cut down the amount of grains that you consume because when you increase grains, you increase insulin, and too much insulin can deplete your bile reserve. Also, too much estrogen can do it too. So if you're taking birth control pills, or even when a woman is pregnant and she has a spike in estrogen, that can mess with the bile. That's why uh, women that are pregnant have a higher risk of getting gallstones. Same thing with women that are taking estrogen replacement therapy. Vegetable oils are omega-6, highly inflammatory. This can also increase insulin and create insulin resistance, which then creates a problem with that. Having too many nuts or nut butters can give you too many omega-6 fatty acids and irritate this area right here. Of course, we talked about alcohol. You're going to have to cut down your alcohol to no more than a six-pack on a weekend. Number seven, corn. Most corn is GMO. That means it has glyphosate, which is very irritating to the inner lining of your bile ducts right through in here. Also, it's a carbohydrate. And then, of course, 
taking purified bile salts, this would be very, very important. Take one in the, in the morning on an empty stomach and take one in the evening on an empty stomach, and that can gradually help keep this flow opened and keep it drained and reduce the inflammation. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.